this in your notes because we did it. You guys remember doing one of these? Vaguely. Vaguely. Yeah, I thought it was funny. A lot of 4.1 4 questions, as they e people email me. And then like three minutes later, I get another email. Oh, sorry, I forgot to look in my notes. The answers were there. <laughs> oh, yeah. So this one, hopefully, after we kind of refresh your memory, you will look at your notes and go, oh, that's what that is. All right, I am told that the point where the angle T runs into the unit circle is 0.141 comma 0.99. So that would be approximately where? 0 0.141, 0.99. I'm going to guess right there. And it's just an approximation. <coughs> so here is, see, this is where you laughed at me before, when I couldn't draw a straight line. I don't remember this from class. There's my angle T. Now I'm supposed to figure out the coordinates of where the angle T plus pi runs into the unit circle. Where, where is T plus pi? Quadrant four. Well, I start here. I go to T, and then I keep going pi more. So I'm down here 180 degrees further on. So here's where the angle T plus pi runs into the unit circle. What are the coordinates at this point, approximately? Negative 0.141 comma negative 0.99. Because the distance from the x-axis and the distance from the y-axis don't change because of all the symmetries. What changes is only the signs, S-I-G-N signs of the coordinates because down here in this quadrant three, all x and y coordinates are negative. And so you do this with the rest of them too where, remember, negative means you go in the opposite direction, but you're going to go the same distance that you went. How do you, this not down, but how do you know, like, where on the line, or where on the circle the coordinates are? On this one? Yeah. Oh, I guess. So I know this is 1, because it's a unit circle. So I figured 0 0.141 was about here, and 0.99 was about there. So it's a guess. It doesn't need to be perfect, it just needs to be close enough. <laughs> Because it's like in your the written work, it doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be close enough and you get the whole gist. So for the last part, um, the last one, the second C uh, um, This is the one that I've been trying to convince them to fix that and make it a D.